size has an enormous influence on the way in which Canadians interact with each other. As the second largest country in the world, physical surroundings, climate, and cultural influences vary enormously from coast to coast to coast. As a result, technological innovations have helped to shape this country. The CBC faced the enormous task of bringing television to all Canadians. But how could it broadcast across a country that spanned three oceans and was over 5,000 kilometers wide? The answer was to cooperate with the telephone companies and build a nationwide high capacity transmission system. With its completion on Canada Day 1958, the Trans-Canada Microwave System gave 94% of Canadians access to national television. With six time zones, however, staff at the CBC were presented with a logistics problem. When they aired shows in the eastern time zones, they aired too early in the west. A small company called Ampex developed the first video recorder in 1956, which essentially solved the issue of time zones. Two years later, the CBC began using this technology, and Canadians were able to access broadcasted information on their prime time. I'm passionate about Canadian history, and my work at the Canada Science and Technology Museum allows me to learn about people, places, and things that have helped shape Canada into what it is today. My name is Emily, and I'm a National Science and Technology Week champion, and you can be one too.